exclamation mark get and then we can just find for the guy again what's the guy let's get the id real quick all right so as you can see here this is the um banner hey guys welcome back to another video so in this video i'll be teaching you guys how to get a user's banner so recently discord added a feature so you can add banners to your user profile so let me show you what banner actually is so i'm currently in my user settings and i at the user profile tab so once you go in here you see all of these options you have a an about me you can have a profile banner and as well as a profile color which is the color if you don't have the uh if you don't have nitro all right so if you want to have a banner of course you need to have nitro which i currently don't have um so yeah i'll be teaching you guys how to use how to make a command to retrieve a user's banner all right so there's actually a pull request on this uh so it's currently being approved by two of them and then uh there's two more requested for review so yeah if you want to have the banner feature right now you can just follow this video or else you can just wait until the uh until it's merged into the master branch and then uh, you can just use the functions over there. All right, so to start this off, we're actually gonna install a package. I already ex installed this package, so I don't need to do it again. So all you need to do is npm i, and then we need to install Axios. So just install that. Okay, you can use node fetch, whatever you want, but I prefer Axios the most. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the data first from Discord API. So axios.get and then HTTPS discord.com slash api slash users slash and then we're going to get the user.id all right so in here we're just going to define a user really quickly so cons user equals to message dimensions users dot first or we can just do message dot guild oh, members catch dot get and then we can just get the arc zero all right so uh if there is no user and then just do message dot return reply uh give user okay just give it a simple message all right so in here we're gonna get the user id as well we actually need a api token which is gonna be the bot token so just gonna do open an object headers okay make sure it's not capitals because i tried using capitals h uh, uppercase h but it didn't work out so i'm just gonna use lowercase and then we're gonna use authorization. I think that's how we spell it. And then this is bot and then client the token. So we're gonna get a token. All right, perfect. So this is how we get data. And then we can actually console log the data first so I can show you guys what's going on. So dot then, and then we can just do a rest console.log rest. All right, all right. So if I try to get data, so if I get data from this guy. Oh, we actually need to log out this because it's actually kind of spammy. So let me just log out rest of data because that's how uh, Axios handle this. I'm just gonna use the data property. All right, so let me just do this again. If you try to get data. Okay, so as you can see here, we get the username, get the avatar, we get the banner and then if the person has a banner, it's not going to show the banner color, obviously, and the accent color. So if the person have a accent color, it's not going to show banner. But there's also one more thing. The person doesn't have a banner and a accent color. So for example, this guy. Okay, so this um, background banner color is actually automatically generated by Discord. So if I try to get this user's um, details, it's going to show null for all. So let me show you guys give user. Okay, that was weird. So um, we get ID. Okay, as you can see here, the banner is null, color is null, and then both of the colors are null. All right, so this is what I mean. So we also need to check for that. So let me just go back to VS Code and let's continue coding. So uh, let me just pull up the, okay, now mind. Let's just, we're gonna, we're gonna deconstruct rest of data. So const object equals to rest of data. And in here, uh, we're gonna, Get a few things, we're gonna get the banner as well as the accent color. Okay, so um, the banner color is deprecated, so we're just gonna use the accent, accent color, which, which functions totally the same. All right, so if the person has a banner, 
we do this and then or uh, else um we're gonna do something else okay so i want to show you guys one more thing so basically once a person has a banner you actually need to check what image extension it is all right so for banner there's actually two types one is static and the other one is animated so uh we actually need to check for that so it's actually pretty simple so let me just show you guys again so if i try to do exclamation mark get um let me pull out the terminal so this guy press uh currently have a animated banner as you can see here so if i try to use this guy over in here it's gonna say that uh as you can see here uh notice how it has a a x a underscore before the actual id over here so if i find someone i think this guy doesn't have yep, this guy doesn't have a animated um banner so if i try to do this it's gonna get the data okay let me just mention the guy fox death because it's like bugging out some something all right so as you can see here um uh as you can see here this person okay it doesn't have a animated uh banner so as you can see here there is no a underscore all right so j and sp currently have a animated ba animated banner that's why it has the a underscore and fox death doesn't have a animated banner that's why the banner doesn't start with a underscore so we're gonna actually make a check for that using turner operators so you can just do const extension equals to banner dot starts with how do i i think it starts with yep it starts with if it starts with a we're gonna make it a dot gif or else we're gonna make it a dot png so we can just do dot png like that all right so we're gonna define the url so const url equals to message const url equals to um https cdn dot discord app dot com and then slash banners and then we're going to get the user id and then we're going to pass in the um the bat uh what is it banner and then we need to add the extension as well so extension all right so this is the url and then lastly we can actually send the url so we can just define an embed const embed equals new message embed Sent a description of um, you draw tax avatar, all right, and then we can just set the image to the URL, and then lastly, we can send the embed. So, if you want v version 13, we can just do message.channel.send, and then if you're on version 12, just do this, and it will work fine. If you're on version 13, need to add a embeds property and then we can just pass it embed in the array so um yeah let's just test this out so let's just wait for it to restart and then we can just do dot get i mean exclamation mark get and then we can just find for the guy again what's the guy let's get the id real quick all right so as you can see here this is the um banner over here um the banner is over here all right so if I try to get this person's um avatar, oops, I forgot. I need to actually mention because my users aren't catched yet. So let me just do this. Exclamation mark get, and then over in here, as you can see, this is the banner which is over inside of here. So now I'm gonna teach you guys how to get a uh the banner. I mean the accent color for people like me who doesn't have nitro but have they have a accent color okay so let me show you guys uh we can just use this out statement away in here and then we can do if there's accent color so i said earlier in this video there's a uh chance that the person doesn't have an accent color as well so if it doesn't have an accent color we can just uh do something about it so if the person have a accent color we can just do we can define a new embed const embed message embed set the description and then we can set a description something like user tag doesn't have a, a banner but they do have a, a accent color all right and then we can just set the color to the accent color pretty simple all right and then lastly we're going to send the message as usual if you're on version 12 you can just do it that way and if you're on version 13 just do this and all right 
Let's just test this out again. Open up terminal if see if there's any errors. If I try to get a uh, recon. Okay, as you can see here, Recon doesn't have a banner, but they do have a accent color. So as you can see here, my accent color is actually uh, the same color with this. Now we're going to do something about the people who doesn't have the accent color nor a banner. So we can just do else, return, message or reply. Um, you can do user or tag does not have a banner nor a accent color. Okay, we can just save this. And then we can just test this out. Okay, so this guy he doesn't have um, any of those. So let's just try this out. Get easing dev. And then uh, my internet is kind of slow, so it's taking a little more time. So you can see here, easing dev doesn't have a banner nor a accent color or an accent color so yeah, this is how you can get banners in this code js uh as per right now if you face any errors feel free to join the support so links will be in the description and if you want to watch more discord js tutorials you should see a place then click on the screen right now just click on that you should be good to go all right have a nice day see you in the next video bye